and um, and we happened to go on a day that they had this amazing singer named Holly Near, and you may be familiar with her. And she sang this song, and I had one of those kind of aha moments where I felt like if I could actually write songs, I might have written that song. And I'm not like Susan, for example. I'm not so much a songwriter, but I can appreciate it when I hear something that I think is really significant. And um, somebody said that this song isn't necessarily right for a church setting. And I was thinking about that, and I, I, I would contest that in that I think it's a very strong song, and it speaks to a kind of awareness, which is very important, and it also challenges the status quo. It's a sort of call to action, and it speaks to a kind of a demand for integrity. And um, I like that, and in that sense, I think it's very hopeful because there's movement to it. So I'm very, very happy to be able to sing for you today, I Ain't Afraid, Words and Music by Holly Near. I ain't afraid of your Yahweh. I ain't afraid of your Allah. I ain't afraid of your Jesus. I'm afraid of what you do in the name of your God. Listen, things are tough. Things might get tougher, but things are going to get better. You know, what is, our, what is our faith based on? What are our holy and sacred texts based on? Our holy and sacred texts are based on It gets rough and God's still there. <laughs> Amen? And it is not just a feel-good book. Our faith isn't just a feel-good faith. You know, what we heard today, my goodness gracious, what we heard today about the dry bones, I just thought of this, you know, Cecil B. DeMille's movie. <laughs> he probably made a movie about this, I don't know. <laughs> you know, all these dried bones. Well, guess what? There's a lot of things that can happen to us where we end up dying inside, amen? There's a lot of things that happen when we lose our hope, we die inside. When we feel that God has abandoned us, we die inside. When we give in to despair, we die inside. And when we say, is this the best that it gets, we die inside. When we don't know where to turn, we die inside. But friends, God is still with us by our side. God is still with us by our side. This story that we read in scripture isn't just about an interesting anatomy lesson. You know, there's a songs about this, you know, that the, this bone is connected to that bone, connected to this bone, connected to that bone, and them dare bones come to life again. Well, I can't sing that song, and y'all wouldn't want me to anyway. However, the story is about God. You know, and isn't this interesting? God could have just done it, right? God could have just gone to the bones and said, get yourself together. Zap. It's together. Do you notice God didn't do that? God went to Ezekiel because it tells me that this God thing is about a partnership with us. Amen? Amen. God needs us as much as we need God. And God said to Ezekiel, go to them there Israeli people. Because see, at the time, you know, we know the story. They were like with God, and they were out of God's favor, and they were with God. And then, you know, we've heard that story. Just like us. Just like us. And at this point in time, they were out of God's favor. But you know what? God didn't give up. God got tired of him for a while. He said, all right, y'all want to go do it on your own? Go ahead, do it on your own. Go ahead. W wander off. Go and kvetch and complain all you want. 
on your own. You don't want me? All right. It's fine. I ain't going anywhere. But God finally said, all right, enough is enough. It's time to come home. Amen. It's time to come home. And God decided to use Ezekiel and say, my, I loved it, mortal one. Did he have to keep driving that home? Well, I know I'm mortal. Mortal one. That tells me that God believed in Ezekiel enough just as God believes in us enough to bring a healing word to the world. Amen? Okay, think about this as y'all being Ezekiel's and God speaking to you because he, God knows that around you there are dry bones and some of them might be yours. Amen? And God says, prophesy, prophesy. You tell these darn dead bones that this is not the end. This is not the end of the road. 